Hello Laravel friends, today we're looking at Laravel 12.13 with some neat quality of life improvements. We've got named cute closures and something you've all been waiting for, trust me. Let's go. First up, we can now give names to our cute closures. So let's say we have a job like this, create user job, and we're going to dispatch it like this. So if we run this, we will see this in the queue, what is happening. Let me show you this, but I'm running composer dev, where we have all the tools open, which we need here, logs and the queue, which um, I'm interested in here. And you can already see by default, it refreshes the page because I have this open in my browser which is just this page where I just can refresh the page. And you can see whenever we do this, we see that the create user job was being dispatched. All good, all pretty straightforward so far. But what you can also do in Laravel is you can use the dispatch method and provide here a closure. So let's do this. And let's say inside here, we create a new user. So there are good reasons where this makes sense. And where you don't want to create a class, you want to do this on the fly, for example. And now what happens now, I think it should be refreshed already. Yeah, we can now see that um, a closure was running on the queue and where it lives, but it doesn't tell us what it does. So for example, if I have now a second one here, and let's say here we delete a user, and you can see it's being refreshed again, and we should see that both are running now, yeah, but both are just closures and we have no idea um, what's really happening here. And this is not so good. So what is now new, what you can do here is you can um, just give this a name. Create user job. And let's call the other one delete user job. Yeah. Okay, and this will be refreshed and you can see, yeah, now we see those names here. So this is yeah way better for debugging, seeing what's going on. If you're using um, this closure type of jobs, please make sure to also give them a name. Thank you, Will. And next, there's a new assertion method for your tests. So here we have a test for our contact form. I want to make sure that when we don't provide the right data, that it sends us back to a specific view. So let's act and assert here. So what we want to do, we want to make sure that we come from a specific route which in our case is this contact view route. Then we want to make a post request to a specific route, which is contact store. Yep, that's right. But a route needs this E. All right, and then, yep, that's exactly what I want to do. Assert redirect to this specific route. I think this should already pass and it does, perfect. Okay, so this is how we usually do those kind of things. But now we can do something different, which is, yeah, these are the kind of changes and improvements and the way level works, why I love it so much. And I'm pretty sure why you love it so much as well. So there's a new method, which is called assert redirect back. Here we go. Let's run this. Boom. It's still working. And just look at this. We don't care which specific view this is. You just want to make sure that from this controller, if something is not right with the data that we send, that we send it back to where the request came from. And yeah, this is something that you now can do. So have a lot of fun with assert redirect back. Thank you, Ryan. Thanks to all the amazing contributors who keep making level better with each release. If you found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons for more Laravel updates. See you the next time. Bye.